Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion. Bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Ephesians 4, verses 3 through 6. All right. But on this week, we are discussing guarding against the spirit of division. All right. Guarding against the spirit of division. As we shared, there's a spirit of division flowing in the earth that's trying to divide nations, churches, families, and marriages. Jesus told us every kingdom, every city, or every house divided against itself shall not stand. Divided means to split in the part, to separate, and to disjoin, all right? But we are encouraging everyone guard against that spirit of division that's trying to cause confusion and separation in the nation and in, in churches and in families okay all right uh we saw division will have us fighting against one another instead of fighting against the true enemy that is the devil all right is christ divided absolutely not all right we all claim we serve jesus christ so how is there division how is there division in the body of Christ? We saw how one says, I'm a Paul, and another one says, I'm of Peter, and another one says, I'm of Apollos. But as we shared, that's the problem is those are all men. And when we start looking at flesh and blood, we start looking at men, that's how division can come in. But if we all keep our eyes on the true source, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we can walk together. My God, we can flow together and be a unified body, okay? So let's read Ephesians 4, verses 3 through 6. It says, Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, there is one body, again, there is one body, <laughs> one Spirit, even as you are called in the hope of your one calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Message translation says, You are all called to travel on the same road and in the same direction. So stay together, both outwardly and inwardly. You have one master, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who rules over all, works through all, and is present in all. Everything you are and think and do is permeated with oneness my lord everything you are and think and do is permeated with oneness all right now the apostle paul says we must do all we can to keep the unity of the spirit unity of the spirit unity in the spirit all right then he says what there is one body one one body <laughs> one spirit one calling one lord one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father. So my question is, with all of this oneness in the kingdom, there should be, how is this possible that there is a division in the body? When we got one baptism, one body, one calling, one Lord, one faith, all oneness, one, 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 my God. There is one body of Christ. There is not a black church oh lord there's not a white church there's not a korean church there's not a a, a, a... help us lord he'll tell you <laughs> there's one body there's one church my god i know you got a lot of denominations and and a lot of all this different stuff going on but there is one body my god one body of christ and we should be a unified body of Christ, all right? We should all be traveling on the same road and in the same direction. You shouldn't have your own direction. You're going there, my God, because you got a special revelation. No, we should all be traveling the same road and in the same direction. Everything we are and do must flow from a place of oneness. Again, everything we are and do must flow from a place of oneness. The world couldn't handle a unified body of Christ. My God. And again, I say there is one body, saints, one church. I don't know what all. Listen, 
I know you call yourself the first is, and, and we the first is. There is one church, one body, my God, and we should all be flowing together. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and take me on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. We thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another. For that, we say thank you. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you've done was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, pains, weaknesses, infirmities with and by your stripes. We were healed, therefore we are healed, and we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you discerning your body right now. We take the bread, we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love. All of our sins, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We take the cup of the blessing. We drink all of it. Mm. Saying thank you, Jesus. So again, there is one body, one spirit, one calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one, 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 one. So with all this oneness, there should be no division in the church. There is one church, and that's the church of Jesus Christ. We are the body of Christ, and we should be a unified body. Amen? Amen. All right? So let's get our healing confession on this morning. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is blessed and in good health. Lord, I thank you that you have taken all sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, and pains away from me. I am healed. I am whole. Healing and divine health are flowing through all my system. I am walking in divine health. My body is energized, strong, renewed, and restored to perfect health. Amen? Amen. Receive your healing on today, bless God. So, Father, we love you, we bless you, we praise you. Father, thank you for this new day. All you have in store for each and every one of us. I shout grace, grace right now to every household. I thank you that every need of every household is made in full. With abundance and more than enough, I speak peace right now to every household. Father, and for all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies, I thank you that you have healed them all. And I decree this morning, you are included in the all. Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. Everybody have a great day full of God's favor and blessing. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.